to the vlogs. Like Austin said, we are doing a weekend vlog today and we're actually doing something exciting and we're leaving the house. Who would have thought? Who would have thought we're gonna leave the house? I don't even remember the last time I like actually left other than to go to work. Or like the grocery store. Or like, yeah, it's like our grocery store. Genuinely, I think it was Christmas. New Year's. New Year's. We went to Oh, we went Blue to Blue Mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, so literally since December 31st. No, January. Yeah, December 31st, because we are now on February 3rd. So we're going to all the places today. We're going to Costco. We're going to, I want to just check Marshall's because I don't know why not. <laughs> we're out. I also wanted to run into HomeSense quick because I'm looking for a big circle mirror to put in our bedroom. And if I find like the right style, then that's great. Um, and then I wanted to also run into Sephora. And then I think that's it for what's over there. I would love to go into Indigo, but I don't need to go into Indigo. We're also gonna go get our teeth cleaned. And then we're also gonna go see my mom. And we're actually dropping Cooper off. We're bringing him with us. We're gonna drop him off when we get into town while we do our running around. And then when we go to my mom's, we're gonna like have lunch. Oh, I was gonna bring my bathing suit because I was gonna sit in the hot tub, but I probably won't end up doing that anyways. But, but yeah, anyway, that's the game plan. That's what we're doing today. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. Nothing exciting going on on Sunday, but today's the exciting day. So that's fun. My hair looks so weird. Like my, like this looks so much longer. Anyway, um, but yeah, gonna bring you guys along. Let's have a fun weekend. All right, we are home from our little outing. It's now four o'clock. I literally filmed nothing all day. Like I literally filmed like three clips. So sorry about that. It was just a little overwhelming, you know, when you're out and about. Costco was crazy as always. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul of everything we got, mostly just from Costco, but I did get some stuff from Sephora. I'll show you later. Okay, so from Costco, we got a new bath mat that's like super plush, but I want this for like right in front of our bathtub. So got that, it's a Roots Home one, really nice. We got some Krispy Kreme donuts because the girl doing the samples convinced us because she said they only come once a year. So we got some donuts. And then we also got some Atlantic salmon, some chicken thighs, chicken breast, and then two things of sausages. I'm gonna divide all that up and put it in the freezer. We got some cream cheese, um, to some tzatziki, and then also some feta cheese. Oh, sorry, Cooper. Austin got some new socks for work because his are kind of getting worn out, so he's gonna get rid of the ones that he has now. I think he literally has like two pairs left, so he has some new ones. We got a bunch of drinks. So we got our Alani News that we always get. We got chocolate chips because we just ran out about a week ago. I got these. They are organic raw kombucha, but the flavor sounded really good. They had rosemary, mint, sage, green tea, mango, passion fruit, and green tea. And then this one was blackberry, I think it was like blackberry, blueberry, and green tea. Oh, blackberry, ginger, and green tea. So anyways, so those look, or they sounded good. So got those to try. Also, we now have Celsius in Canada, which is really exciting. So we got some Celsius to try as well. Also stocked up on liquid IV because it was on sale. Um, the Nature's Valley Fig Bars. These are our favorite. We love these. Um, we also got some CeraVe Hydrating Moisturizing Cream two pack. Um, and then we got restock of our Zevias. I think that was it. Yeah, and then down here <laughs> this was not planned to get today but we did know that we wanted it but we got a deep freezer <laughs> yay so now we are able to actually get a bunch of stuff from costco when we go because we only go like what once like once a month i don't know interesting 
but anyways we only ever go like once a month every like six weeks ish so now we have a nice big deep freezer that we can stock and keep stocked and like austin said at the store it'll be good for like in the summer when we have like burgers and popsicles and all that kind of stuff that takes up like a lot of space it'll be good to have a deep freezer now so we're excited about that but yeah so we are home now i'm going to turn on the nhl all-star game because we were watching it at my mom's before we left so we're going to turn that on i'm going to put all of our stuff away we had lunch at like 2 30 ish so i feel like we'll be kind of good for dinner tonight we'll probably just have the leftover pizza that we had last night um but yeah but i'll show you the other stuff i got i got a few things from marshall's and truly a bunch of stuff from sephora so i'm actually really excited but i'll show you that later um but we're gonna unpack put everything away watch the all-star game okay last thing i actually forgot to show i was just putting everything away i was like wait i never even showed this um so we right now use a nature bullet to make like smoothies or like just like a regular blender can you wait can you just chill <laughs> um but we use a nature bullet but it is basically dead it's at the end of its life it's no more so this was here and it was on sale i think it was like 130 which is still obviously expensive but for a blender this is pretty cool so it has three different sizes that you can like blend up so you could do like dips here and you can do like regular smoothies or like maybe smoothies for two um but then it came with like to-go handles and storage container handles and i've seen this online and a lot of people say it's pretty good so i'm excited to try this out i feel like we're just gonna get rid of our ninja bullet or ninja ninja right now because or neutral bullet oh my gosh get rid of our neutral bullet because it's just it's done its course it is like fried fried so we'll get that and try it out but i'm excited to try that but anyway i'm also excited to try one of these celsius i kind of want to have one now but it's four o'clock so i'm like i don't really want to be up super late but i just want to try one but anyway, we're going to sit here, watch our game. I also changed into comfy clothes, obviously, because I wasn't about to be sitting in uncomfortable clothes while we watch hockey. <laughs> try a celsius he claims i won't be up too late so scores hey that's the guy with the stash beebs is pumped <laughs> nice okay we got tropical vibe oh i like it it's not super um Like it's not super, like you know how some of them like they taste really like, like you can taste like that like weird aftertaste? Yeah, no it's good. This one's good. Yeah. Yummy, yay! Success. A success. just finished watching the all-star game it was very fun to watch very entertaining um but now i'm going to jump in the bath it's like what time is it it's quarter to seven so i'm gonna have a bath and just chill for a bit i think um i might actually read i might go grab my book for book club and start that because it is pretty long this month for book club. So I may actually just start that tonight. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little haul of what I got at Sephora. Okay, so one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to like look good, feel good. And I really want to get back into loving and enjoying wearing makeup. Um, I used to always love to wear makeup and play around with makeup like way pre-pandemic, like long time ago, like between when I was like in high school up until like 20, 
2016, 2017, I want to say. And then when I just got into like school for, I guess 2019 then. But anyways, when I got into school for dental hygiene, I kind of stopped wearing it because I was always wearing a mask and I never really knew how to like, you know, make it look good. And then COVID happened and we weren't going out anywhere. We were always wearing masks. So I just kind of stopped altogether. So long story short, um, I really want to get back into wearing makeup because I always felt good wearing makeup and I always enjoyed playing with makeup and liking makeup. But I will say back then I was like, I would buy so many things and like I would have so many products and I wouldn't go through them. And I like, I ended up purging a ton of makeup like a couple years ago. Um, and then just with our bathroom refresh that we just did, um, I ended up kind of going through my makeup and like being like, okay, I'm gonna, I kept very, very minimal, but I wanted to kind of refresh some of my stuff just because I feel like a lot of my stuff is older and it's like, it kind of was past an expiry anyways, I'm sure. And I just was never really happy with my base makeup. Um, like, you know, what I wear as like, just like, can like, foundation concealer you know just that kind of stuff so long story short <laughs> um i ended up talking to brianna and my sister-in-law um and they were kind of giving me some recommendations to try so when i was at sephora today i kind of walked around and i grabbed some things and i'm really excited to play with makeup again and just like get back into it so this is definitely a bit more of like on the higher side of a haul but um i'm excited i'm excited to try some of this stuff and again remember i'm like kind of starting from scratch for half of my stuff so i will show you so in no particular order first thing actually i guess yeah <laughs> first thing i already own um these are the first aid beauty facial radiance pads these are like my favorite thing ever i've used these for probably like three or four years i want to say yeah like these ones are really really good i like them they do a good job i use them after my cleanser to get like that extra layer of like grime off from your day but i'm almost out of my pack now so i just bought a backup because i was there um other skincare i bought was the ordinary retinol because I just see all these things online about retinol and you should try retinol and i love the ordinary because they're super cheap so i think this was twelve dollars um you know in comparison to what skincare costs like good skincare costs so anyways this is the retinol cream i guess you're using it at night i really need to look into it more but everybody's saying you got to use retinol to help you know plump your skin up smooth fine lines stuff like that so oh it doesn't smell very good <laughs> And then I think this is technically skincare too. Yes, so this is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So my sister-in-law recommended me this because it's basically you're like putting it on, she puts it on twice a day. I gotta remember what she said. But basically this one says it soothes, purifies, and renews your skin. Um, so it's called sos save our skin sos helps seriously soothe stressed out skin our hero ingredient hypochlorous acid maximizes with your good skin days by reducing the appearance of redness and supporting the skin's renewal process for all skin types especially sensitive skin skin havers and brianna was telling me that um tower 28 they're like one of the only like makeup skincare things that are like actually approved by the national eczema association so interesting i feel like it's going to be really good on your skin i get a lot of redness i feel like on like especially my cheeks like when i get like little breakouts and stuff so i'm excited to try this out she had recommended another like tinted moisturizer kind of thing from tower 28 but they just didn't have it at my store so i don't know if they even sell it in canada because they didn't even like have it online so i don't know i could be wrong next thing i picked up so this is something that I actually have already. So I have it in a darker shade, definitely for when I'm a little bit more tan. This is in the St. Mortis, St. Mortis, 
medium one is the shade um but it's definitely just too dark for me and i feel like it would work for me if i mixed it with a lighter shade for the summer and then just regular lighter shade in like the winter like now um but anyways this is the nars pure radiant tinted moisturizer and i got this one in the shade light zero in terra nuve nuve but again it's a tinted moisturizer i really like the um consistency of this it's not too like if i that was a lot <laughs> like it kind of i mean it's exactly what it says it is it's a tinted moisturizer so it's really light on the skin and it has nice coverage and my sister-in-law says that really i've been using a beauty blender a lot and she said maybe you should just try using your fingers when you're blending it into your skin so i'm interested to see what the situation is but i feel like this color is a much better match for my skin okay the next thing is definitely on the pricier side but this is one of the things that caitlin says she swears by my sister-in-law this is one thing she says she swears by and she says that this is something that she uses every single day multiple times a day um and she just says that this is how she truly feels like her face just like is pretty like just natural and it looks like her makeup is a part of her skin but anyways, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So she says she puts this on before and after her makeup and she applies it during the day if she feels like her makeup's like starting to like crack or break. This is what it looks like. I have not owned anything Charlotte Tilbury smelling or not smelling, uh, like any Charlotte Tilbury products. I was smelling because I was smelling. Um, it actually smells pretty good. But she said it's definitely more of an investment product, but she said she swears by it. So I'm trusting her and I'm going to try it and see what I think. But I have a feeling, <laughs> caught it. I have a feeling this is going to be really nice. And a couple more things. So this one's actually just a repurchase. Um, this is the Boy Brow by Glossier. <laughs> Can you see Ellie on top of her litter box? What are you doing, girl? Um, this is the boy brow by glossier and i get in the shade auburn i like this color because it really i feel like goes well with my hair color like the red that i have so anyways i hold on i gotta make sure she's not like doing nothing bad okay sorry quick kitty litter break <laughs> okay so anyways like i was saying glossier boy brow in auburn i really like the color and i just need to repurchase this because Mine was all dried out, but I like how natural this looks in my eyebrows and it really does help like just a little bit of color really does help make my brows blend in a little bit more to my hair. Okay, two more things. Um, this is one that's kind of a repurchase, but anyways, this is the soft pinch. Yeah, it's like it's the soft pinch lip oil, um, but this is in the shade hope so i have this in a darker shade like a more of a red and i love it and i love the consistency of it i just feel like it's definitely not something i can wear every day so this color is like definitely more just literally my lip color but i love these so much they're actually just like they look like a lipstick but they're kind of a lip tint but they're also kind of an oil consistency i don't know they're really nice though and i really really like them so i picked that guy up Sorry, quick kitty uh, potty break. I just didn't want you guys listening to her let the nastiest poop go. Anyways, this is the last thing I got. This was another thing that Caitlin was like, you need to try this. I feel like I just got something ever. She's like, you need to try this. So this is the Say Glowy Super Gel Dewy Illuminating Fluid. She says she likes to mix this with any type of foundation or tinted moisturizer. Um, and it just kind of makes it like a little bit more glowy and a little bit more lightweight. Like that's how it kind of it feels and looks. So I'm just gonna put like the smallest bit on my hand because I actually only got the tester size of this because truly, I don't really know why. I don't normally get the small size, but I'm just like, whatever, I'll just try the small size because I'm already getting a tinted moisturizer. So I'm like, it's already pretty light. So I feel like I don't really need it to be that light. But anyways, this is what it looks like. You can also get it in a tinted color but oh i like the consistency of that mm, it smells good too actually but it just kind of gives a little bit of a sheen it's really nice so anyway that was everything that i got from sephora but like i said 
I'm definitely starting kind of from scratch so that is why i ended up getting like so many different types of products um but i'm really excited to try and i feel like everything definitely suits the vibe of what i'm going for which is i just want something super simple super lightweight but still like a little bit of a coverage on it something that's gonna look um like cohesive and same with like the skincare i just want to make sure that i'm like taking good care of my skin so with that, that is all the things that I bought. I also want to quickly show you guys the things that I got from Marshalls because I scored big time. So I'm going to go run downstairs and grab those because I forgot them down there. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so from Marshalls, this was kind of crazy because I was quite literally looking at these online like two days ago <laughs> and then I literally was able to find them at Marshalls. But... We got some new Converse and I'm so excited because I have the platform high tops in white, but I really was wanting just like a black shoe because all of my shoes are white and I'm like, I just want a black shoe. So I got these. They're super cute. They're high tops. And then the only difference is that they're less um like flat on the bottom, I feel like, because they have a little bit more like traction maybe. Um, but they're super, super comfortable. They fit literally perfect, but I love them so much. I'm so happy I was able to find those. And then the other thing I got, so I never can find bobble, bobble, hello? <laughs> I never can find bobble bar in the Marshalls, Winners, whatever around us. My friend Claire is like always looking for me for um, Disney bobble bar stuff and I just recently asked Brianna to start looking for stuff for me because I just like to wear Disney jewelry I think it's fun I think it's fun to incorporate into my everyday I also wear scrubs every day and I'm not able to wear like colorful fun scrubs I literally just have to wear the same color every single day it's just like a uniform um, so on like special occasions it's fun to wear my earrings like fun because I can do that so anyways Claire recently went to TJ Maxx for me in the States and she found like a bunch of different of the Valentine's Day ones earrings and I was between like three of them and I was like okay just get these two don't get this one even though I really wanted it I was like just just two it's fine because I was also thinking about shipping and blah 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 so anyways <laughs> so Claire ended up putting these ones or not getting these ones for me literally go to Marshall's today one pair of a Disney bobble bar and it was the pair that I said to her no it's okay don't get those ones just get the other two but I still really wanted them so they are these cute little minis with heart sunglasses so they're gonna look so cute for Valentine's Day I'm definitely gonna wear them at work and everybody's gonna laugh at me but I don't care because I love them so much oh this is a little bit bent but these are so cute but I love bubble bar earrings because they're nice like they're a statement piece but they're really not heavy like they're not the most comfortable like i would say like if you have like headphones on or whatever but look at how cute like those are gonna be so cute for valentine's day but i was excited because the ones that claire got for me she's not going to be able to send them until like later next week so probably i wouldn't have gotten them by valentine's day which was fine but i was just like oh yeah okay that's fine but now I have ones to wear. So I'm so excited to add these to my little collection. But I was like, what a freaking snag. These are the two things that I found at Marshalls. But anyways, I'm done talking now. I'm going to go have a bath. Um, and then I think, oh, I should have grabbed my book while I was downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to have a bath and read for a bit. And then I don't really know what else tonight. I'll probably just chill, honestly. I might just read for the rest of the night if we're being real. If I'm nice and relaxed in the bath, I might just read for the rest of the night. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna start running a bath and chill for the evening. <laughs>
Okay, I know I just used this for the first time, but I feel like the retinol makes my skin feel so soft. And I don't know if maybe it's because it's like an exfoliated or what, but when I just rubbed in that moisturizer, wow, like my skin feels soft. <laughs> my computer um i wanted to do a little bit of not editing but just like throw footage into my computer so that it's ready for me tomorrow for when i want to get up and edit um i also just kind of wanted to organize my notion a little bit um i wanted to organize my notion a little bit and just kind of like play around on the computer, you know? So I'm gonna sit here, but I'm gonna listen to my audiobook while I sit. And then once I'm done on the computer, then I will keep reading um, the flat share. I really didn't get that far because holy moly, look at how small the font is in this book. Like, can you see the difference? Very small font. <laughs> so anyways, I only finished the first chapter, so. I'm gonna keep reading but for now I'm just gonna listen to my audiobook because the audiobook I have is actually due back to the library in like four days I think and I think I still have four hours on it so I'm gonna try and listen to like maybe an hour or so today and then I'll probably end up finishing it tomorrow but yeah I'm gonna do that now just chill for a bit but this is truly an ideal Saturday night like, I love this. Listening to The Shadows Between Us. And I have 4 hours and 44 minutes left. 444. It's my angel numbers. Okay. everyone i feel like this is zoomed in a little bit um good morning it is the date is escaping me sunday wow that was that took me a minute <laughs> um it is sunday <laughs> sorry i just wanted to put a sweater on because i was a little bit cold um but this morning today we are doing pretty much the regular that we do on sunday we chill we hang out at home we don't do a whole lot um i need to edit my video for tomorrow so i need to do that um we also need to um we also need to do some meal prep i'm just making soup this week for lunch normally i make like these really delicious um like greek chicken and salad kind of bowls but this week i'm just doing soup because Honestly, I just didn't really want to think too much about meal prep this week. So, soup, super easy. Literally, chop up my veggies, put them on a tray, chop, throw them in the oven. They go in the oven for like an hour. Blend everything up. Add a little bit of like water and coconut milk. And it makes a delicious roast, roasted vegetable soup. Um, so, it's like super easy. So, I'm doing that today. Um, Austin just went to the store to pick us up our groceries for the week which is really nice of him i always appreciate when he goes to the grocery store because i hate going to the grocery store um and i know he does too so i really appreciate when he offers to go um but yeah so this morning i am just going to throw on the tv put something on um and i'm just going to start editing my vlog for right now just because i have nothing really to do yet until austin gets home um and then once he gets home i'll start i'll get started on the soup um and yeah and what else today tonight is the grammy so we're watching the grammys tonight well at least i am i'm excited i love watching the grammys the grammys is the one award show that i watch every single year like even as a kid 
just because I love love music and I love watching the Grammys. Um, but yeah, so watching that and that's about it. Sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, welcome in to the Sunday. Let me start editing my video. <laughs> Okay, time to make some soup. I'm actually gonna take this white sweater off because this is gonna get pretty messy once I start blending the soup. It won't get messy right now, I guess, but we're still gonna take the sweater off. <laughs> but we're gonna start making our soup. I have to chop up all my veggies, put them on a baking tray and just bake them for an hour. Um, and then we will blend them all up and it's gonna be delicious. have shower <laughs> because I'm feeling a little bit greasy grimy and I want to wash my hair and wash my face and like do all the things I'm gonna do a big old everything shower so I'm gonna do that now there's still like 20 minutes left in like on the oven so I'm gonna go down after I'm done and then finish up that soup um but yeah I'm gonna jump in the shower now do a nice big clean. Never mind. We're not gonna have a shower because <laughs> Austin has laundry going right now. So I'm not gonna have a shower right now. I'm gonna go back downstairs, chill for a bit, just watch some YouTube, and then I'll come back up here in maybe an hour or so and try and have a shower then. <laughs> I didn't know that he had laundry on, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should check the laundry and then like to see what had need to be done. And there was already a load going. So <laughs> um gonna just chill for a bit then. <laughs> Okay, just had my shower. I feel so fresh, so clean. It was like a full everything shower. Like we moisturized, we shaved, we washed, we scrubbed, we exfoliated. We put on moisturizer after. I think I already said that, but I said it in the wrong order. We feel good. I like did a deep clean on my hair. Everything feels really good. Sorry, I'm just trying to separate it all here. Um, but yes, I feel very good after that. I should have put some hair oil in um, and then I'm all nice and cozy. I'm back in another pair of clean PJs because I am just a PJ girl, okay? I like PJs. PJs are just cozy. I'm a lounger. I will always choose PJs. So <laughs> we're in some PJs. I'm going to put some Olaplex bonding oil can't really see it put this in my hair so it's all nice and silky smooth and I'm just gonna let it air dry um, and then I'm gonna put my heatless curls in tonight so that I can wake up with nice curls in the morning without using any heat on my hair and that'll probably last me like majority of the week which is awesome but my camera battery is about to die so we will see what else we get up to I really don't think a whole lot honestly but we'll see Okay, it's like way later. It's like 6, 7, 670, pardon? 
6.50, it's almost seven, what I was trying to say. Um, we've literally just been hanging out. I've been watching some YouTube. Sorry, let me try this off. Okay, sorry, that was like the most chaotic time to start that. But I've just been sitting here watching YouTube, watching um, basically just YouTube, cleaning up a little bit. We did a little bit of grocery, or um, like tidying of the kitchen put everything away finally um, i'm just heating up some chili for dinner and i'm watching the grammy's red carpet everybody online thinks that taylor's gonna release rep tonight and i'm pretty sure she is and i'm just like <sighs> i've been panicking all day so i think that's also why i haven't picked up the camera because i've been a little bit nervous <laughs> so, i'm just so excited and it's just so funny because every time she announces something or something or it was released i somehow have always been vlogging so so far, we're keeping on the trend, but anyway, I'm heating up some chili for dinner and we're gonna watch the Grammys soon. Oh, I'm so nervous, but excited. of the passion of the fans. So I want to say thank you to the fans by shut up telling you a secret that I've been keeping from you for the last two years. What? Which is that my brand new album comes out April 19th. It's called I'm gonna throw it's up! It's called the Tortured Poets Department. I'm gonna go At least get this. Taylor just won album of the year! Oh, she's bringing up Lana, that's nice. She has the most album of the years. Yep. Friends, who is not only one of my best friends, but also a once in a generation producer. That's Jack Antonoff. I'm so lucky. The award is the work. All I want to do is keep being able to do this. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. It makes me unbelievably blown away that it makes some people happy who voted for this award too. All I want to do is keep doing this. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do what I love so much. <laughs> Mind blown. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, Taylor Swift. Not just on the award, but on making history. The first person to win Album of the Year four times, ladies and gentlemen. That's a wrap. That's Thanks a wrap. for watching the weekend vlog. <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.